A great dad's a prophet. You're always telling your kids what you can be, what you should be, what you can do. I'd encourage you not to give up. I want to share with you a story about Rachel and Jacob. She's given birth. She's about to die. She's given, uh, she's having a hard childbirth and she passes away while she's given childbirth. Uh, Jacob's passing, walking back and forth. I bet he's nervous. I bet he's anxious. I'm sure the I'm, I'm sure the nurse probably told them. And then uh, a baby's born. They bring the baby to Jacob. I'm sure he knows that Rachel has died. He says, well, what's the baby's name? And the nurse says, here's your baby, Benoni. Benoni meaning uh, God of my sorrows. Now, in the Bible, your name meant something. And so when Rachel named him Benoni, she wanted to leave a legacy based on her sorrows. I want to tell you moms and dads, sometimes when you walk in your dysfunction and your past and in your fears and in your lack of faith, it can make an incredible impression on your children. When there's not someone in the home stepping in front of the wind as a covering, all of a sudden that, that whining, that complaining drifts down to other people. And quite honestly, I think that's a little bit what we see from Rachel, uh, child of my sorrow, God of my sorrows. I can't believe this happened to me. Oh my goodness, I didn't deserve this. God of my sorrows. But Jacob's reaction is priceless. He says, oh, no, no, his name will not be Benoni. His name, his name will be God of my strength. God of my strength is his name. His name will be Benjamin. That's what we, some of us need today. Some of us have taken a season, a time, a moment and said, God of my sorrows, because you've lost something. Maybe you lost a husband. Maybe you lost a dad. Maybe you lost a whole family and you're on your own now. And that season you've named God of my sorrows, Benoni. And let me tell you what you need to step into. You need to step into a season of Benjamin. God is my strength. And how you do that is through prayer. When you, look at, when you look at Satan in his face and you tell him, you will not have this season. You will not have my kids. You won't have my wife. You won't have my husband. I am walking in your promises. I am going to be a man of God. I, well, if they leave, I'm going with them. I'm staying. I'm standing firm. I am Benjamin. God is my strength. That's the type of man we need. And that's the type of men we are lacking today.